Okay, next, I'm going to explain to you the third method to compute your break-even. Okay, you can use the graphical technique to compute your break-even. We are still in the same example. So, the selling price per unit is 20. Your variable cost per unit is 8. And your annual fixed cost is 60,000 ringgit. Okay, now we are using the graphical technique to compute your break-even point. Okay. In order to do that, first, you need to fill up this information first. You draw up the uh, this table. That means you have your x-axis and y-axis. So, in order for you to uh, draw, you need to two coordinates, right? You need two coordinates to draw a straight line. So, you need two coordinates. That means your x-axis and your y-axis. So, assuming your x-axis, you, you can put any, any, uh, any two points. In order for you to draw the line. So, I want you to draw. The first one is if your x is 0. What if your x is 0? That means the unit that you produce is 0. Okay. And what if your unit of production or your level of activity is 4,000 units? What if it is 8,000 units? What if it is 12,000 units? So, given in the question just now, Present sales is 8,000 units. That means you are producing at 8,000 units. But I want you to plot for the quantity, quantity X. That means X is 0, X is 4,000, uh, X is 8,000, X is 12,000 units. Okay. So, if in, uh, as you know, if you want to draw a graph, that means you need the X axis and Y axis. So, your X axis is your level of activity or your uh, quantity, or your units of production, okay? okay, or your units of sales, okay? So, that is your level of activity, to, to be more precise, okay? Because a level of activity applies to uh, both services and uh, production, okay? Uh, I will use the general term, that means the level of activity. And then your Y will be the cost or revenue in RM, okay? So, in this case, your X will be the number of uh, units that you produce and sell. Uh, bear in mind that in uh, CVP analysis, we assume the production and sales are equal. Okay, The amount that you produce, if you produce 4,000 units, you will also sell 4,000 units. Okay, So, this is your X axis. And for your Y axis, I want you to draw up. The first one is your sales line. So, your sales line will be your... SPX. SPX means the selling price, the your X. That means Y equals to 20X. So, um, X is the quantity that you produce or quantity that you sold. So, 20 is the selling price per unit. So, in this case, given in the question, selling price per unit is 20. So, if you, you sell 0 units, that will be, your sales will be 0. If, let's say, you sell 4,000 units, so that 4,000 units will time, you, know, you need to times that with 20 and so on. Okay, your total variable cost line, that means if your variable cost is 8 ringgit per unit, so 8 ringgit per unit, if you don't sell anything, so that means 8 times 0. Okay, if you sell 4,000 units, so 4,000 units times 8, okay, you will put here the figure. Next, I want you to fill up your fixed cost line. How much is your fixed cost? If you don't produce anything, how much is your fixed cost? Okay. If you produce 4,000 units, how much is your fixed cost? Okay. Next, your total cost line. Total cost means your variable cost plus your fixed cost. So, you add your uh, variable cost and your fixed cost here gives you your total cost. Okay. If you want to work out your profit, profit is sales minus your total cost. So, you will get your profit. Okay, or uh, if you get a negative figure, that will be your loss. Okay, so you would need to draw up the traditional break-even chart and contribution break-even chart. So traditional, you can refer to your textbook. Okay, I'm referring to your textbook here. Okay, this one is uh, Rosinote et al. Okay, Rosinote et al. I'm using the third edition. So uh, this one is on page 231, figure 10.3 uh, this one is page uh, 232, figure 10.4. You can also refer to your textbook on how to draw this traditional break-even chart and contribution break-even chart. Okay, so this one is the basic one. That means you need to identify how much is your X and how much is your Y first before you can draw up the uh, break-even chart. Uh, then only 
you fill up all these things then i will explain to you how to draw up the figures fill up the box the box first okay fill up these boxes and then once you have filled up this one i will explain to you on how to draw up the break even chart so with that i thank you